Welcome to the Empire Blade, this is Rampin, and welcome back to my Daedric Invasion campaign, where we are going to continue lift off from last time. Right now, we are trying to defend Albasto from some upstart peasant kittens, where they are trying to take my city. I have a bunch of archers, and... Um, could go either way, honestly. Um, but these units are pretty good. Their units are pretty shit. Uh, it really depends on how... Like, where I'm defending the city. Like, which side of the settlement I'm kind of getting. If... If this cast, if this city has the U section instead of just a flat wall, ah, uh, oh, damn it, no. But eh, actually, technically, it's not the worst. If I was gonna stand here and kind of shoot him down here, eh. Okay. Well, they have one ladder and one ramp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first get you guys off the walls initially. Let's just adjust. I'm gonna put you guys about here, just so if they get on the walls, I'm just gonna try and shoot them. You guys, I think, will just go right here, right here, and do I want to put more on the left side? I'll just have it even. So, you guys on this side, although you need to adjust more like so. And then I think we'll be good, because for the most part, actually, I'm going to have you guys kind of over here immediately as well. Because what I want to try and do is, if they try and run at me on the walls, I'm just going to freely shoot them. So yeah, kind of go like that, and that. And I think I might have you guys just be a little bit thicker too here. Yeah, like right there. There we go. Okay, so if they get on the walls or if they try and run onto the walls from down in the gate, they will have, they will meet some uh, fierce resistance to hold this section as my guys will just freely shoot them as they're trying to come up here. Which we're off to a decent start. They've already lost 7% of their guys. These are just some Khajiit lumbermen right here. Some javelins. I'm hoping the ram maybe burns. If the ram burned, oh man, we have a much better chance. Let's take fire skirmish mode off of there. You guys are expecting a break pretty easily once you're onto the walls. Honestly, I don't think you guys will do that well. 22% already are dead. I like that. Come on, break you stupid fucking peasant cats. There we go. They're already- they're just standing there! Okay. Okay, so they've broken through the gates. I wasn't gonna be able to stop them there. Now it's just the question of, are they going to try and just go to the city center? Or are they going to try and fight me on the walls? Which I'm kind of hoping for the latter. Because they've lost half their army now. Yep, there they come. So let's slow it down a little bit. You guys make sure you're shooting them right there, since they're trying to fight you in melee. You should be able to break them easily by just shooting them. So just keep firing into the ranks. Let's see, 60% are already dead. Nice. Yep, keep it up. They're just slowly trying to get their way up here. Kind of blobbing up right around here, but no, you guys are doing well. Let's see, 70% uh, are dead. Nope. Keep, keep firing. Keep firing. Don't get in melee. Do not get in melee. They are not even trying to get up on this side. They're just focusing on the right side. Which I don't know why. My general's not over here. Oh, son of a bitch. You got shot, my man. Uh, well, even still, you guys have pretty decent morale. So I'm expecting you guys to hold. I almost feel sorry. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Or cats in a cardboard box. Oh, that's just morbid. But we are slaughtered. Oh my god. Those guys are all broken. They've got some of these guys alive. That's it. That's all that's left is just you guys, which I'm hoping I can maybe just shoot you from where we are. The there we go. Runs. We must wow. The okay, there we go. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Nice job, guys. Took a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but we did hold the city. And then... I hate that these guys are already free upkeep. So it's not going to make me any more money during the turn ends. Uh, which is a shame. It is a shame. But we are getting there. We're getting so close to being able to make money. Because I think it was like, what, 15,000? We'll check. We'll be able to see in uh, a little bit once uh, the turn comes back around to me. Uh, I can see how bad my financial situation is. Because I'm hoping that maybe in the next turn or not turn, episode or two, we should start making money. I can, I can see that. We are taking enough land, and we are dealing enough damage. Why? Oh, my forces actually ambush you guys this time. Never mind, you're not the ones attacking me. 
Well, let's see. I wanted to just get straight to the turn end, but or the start of the turn, but I guess we can fight you, Captain Tinava. I'm right next to a mountain, so I think we all know what's going to happen here. And I'll, oh, actually, this is me ambushing them. Eh, I'll still take it. It's been a while since we've actually had an actual ambush in this campaign, too, so let's take it. I could be a just complete bitch and just, like, run all the way up here. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Okay, I can't actually put units up here. <laughs> Good. Oh, my God. This is, like, one of the largest mountains I've ever seen in this game. Like, honestly, this is huge. Oh, why can't we have terrain generation like this anymore? Oh, technically I'll be able to be here, but I'm the I'm the aggressor, so I can't do that, which is a shame. Like, oh, what's going on over here? God, I love the terrain generation. It's so cool. Okay, let's go back over here and properly surround them. So we got my archers. Oh, you, 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 you. Group up. Just kind of run up right here, I'd say. Then catapults be right here. General, you'll stay nearby the archers to kind of protect them. Um, I'll take... Yeah, you guys. I'll take you guys right here. And I'll take the other ones and have them on the other side. And we'll just rush them. Oh. <laughs> Most of their forces are over here. Damn it! That's not where I thought... Oh, I thought you guys were going to be further. Okay, well, we can still kind of advance on you. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, my guys are all going to be focusing on one front. That's, that's, that's fine. This is going to go so well. Let's move you guys up a little bit. As we are a little further away from them than I would have liked. I thought they were going to be further over this side. But no, they weren't. Are you guys going to try and just run away? Oh no, you're trying to form up and do something. Well, I'm not going to let you. I'm going to try and just start charging here immediately. In there, get for get their archers. They've got some good archers, so make sure you focus them down. One percent of their forces are already dead. My men are now being up again. In general, let's bring you around here. Try and help flank a little bit. There you go. Keep pushing there. You go to these guys. You're gonna try and chase down their skirmishers so they don't head. shoot us. And, and then my general. There you go. Yeah, help out with this swordsman. Three to thirteen, not bad. There we go. Just keep that up. Hell, my guys actually feel like they're losing. What the hell? Do the di uh, do the Argonians just get an inherent bonus fighting me? Uh, these guys are losing. You guys, I did catch. Yeah, I caught you guys. These guys are kind of distracted. You're losing to a fucking militia unit. How? Ah, uh, it is because you have so many, so few dudes. That's more than likely the reason why. Okay, let's take you guys, kind of run up here, and then kind of shoot into their backs as we are able. I'm surprised my trebuchet hasn't been a dick this time. He's actually been doing decently for us. So this guy, they're breaking. There you go. There you go. Let's kind of ignore those guys. I'm not going to be able to catch them, so let's just keep pushing on to the other forces. We'll just try and do our best to just break them. Archers also try and open up on them. Maybe. Is no true man. Wow, we didn't hit our own guys there. Eh. Yeah, their entire army is practically broken at this point. Who hasn't withdrawn? It's just the Spikeman? Yeah, I think it's just the Spikeman. So let's get over here. Try and finish him off. Oh, actually, these hunters happened as well. Let's go after those guys. Let's see, 56. Didn't get the magic 85, but. At least we did a decent amount of damage in this ambush, and we'll still get to continue to siege the fort. Because I know they were going to attack me either way. I could have technically withdrawn and then tried to just run up this mountain in a defensive battle. But, eh, we don't always need to be a cunt. We can actually try and fight them properly this time. So you guys, you feel like you're winning that fight? I don't like that. Those guys are all broken. Oh, you're trying to shoot things. You try and shoot him. And then you guys are still trying to chase them down. Ah, there's not much for me to do here. Ah, perfect. Let's see. Oh, let's put 200 guys. Not that bad. Not that bad. 
I did heal quite a few. I need that. But thank you guys for getting in my way. Now get the fuck out of here and let me take this fort. Although technically I was the one that ambushed them. But still. You guys get out of my way. I just want this fort. I just want to keep uh, taking more of these as I I still find it hilarious that they just don't fight back. I, I do hope that because technically I think I'm trying to remember if Yaldi has actually talked about this in some of the comments in the past videos because um, this is technically a older version of the mod of the uh, unofficial patch and I don't know if that's been fixed by now. I don't know. Um, I'd have to double check. But let's execute all of you guys. Oh my god! That made me actually break my siege there. Shit! I didn't want that. Well, maybe I should wait until the other army attacks me because I know they're going to. And then I'll go after that fort. Because uh, otherwise it's going to break my siege again. And I do not want that as I want the fort. Hmm. Well, I could just... Oh, no, because we want to siege it out. I could... I Technically, I was saying, hey, I could assault it with my trebuchets and everything. But that defeats the purpose of just sieging out those forts for free. So I think we'll just kind of avoid that. Also, Captain hides the ashes. What, what, what ashes are you hiding, good sir? Now, I do want to check and see. How much money are we losing? 14,000! Oh, my God! We're so close. Oh, so close. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, because you guys, ooh, perfect. You're standing right outside, so let's kind of put you right there. And let's get into this. Hi, guys. Oh my god, there's like the 4,000 men here. I don't even know if I really need the reinforcements. Oh my god, those are all just skeleton. They're, none of them are going to break, which is the problem, so we won't get that many. We'll just get a bunch of undead from fighting the undead. But I'll have you guys be controlled by the AI, and let's push through these guys. Because I want to take this ca this, uh, this is a castle or a city. I think it's technically a castle. Take this. Keep pushing west with Molag Ball. Taking more of the land over here. And then after he's done with that, he can kind of go back east and continue with Hammerfell again. I just want to secure this section because we don't have that much over here to really secure. So it shouldn't actually be that difficult for us. So let's see. Their re main reinforcements are going to be off the map, so we'll be just rushing at them initially, seeing as how, for the most part, any guys that I actually care about, uh, or the main army that I'm going to be worried about, is just off the map right now. So you guys move up a little bit. There and there. And then let's just start the battle. And uh, we can just chase you guys. So let's run over here, try and get in your guys' faces, and then I'm going to have my allies. I'm just going to tell you to be aggressive, and honestly, I'm going to hope you just start fighting them over here. All right, skirmishers, start unloading on their dudes right here. Quickly now, please. They have a lot of archers. We need to be careful about that. They haven't started firing just yet, but all these guys are literally just skeleton archers. I had to be careful with how many guys they have of that unit type. Uh, my allies don't seem like they've engaged them just yet. No, for the most part, they haven't. Looks like this giant hail is going to become a giant battleground. But no, you guys haven't engaged them yet. Uh, I need to get my infantry a little bit closer here soon. Trying to fight you guys in melee. Let's see. You guys have a lot of guys. Like, what, almost like 5,000 total? Why are you not firing on me? I'll take it. Uh... Cav, I should also send you around. I'm going to try and have you guys... Like, they're not going to break, which is the, sh the shame. Uh, I have to just straight up kill every single one of them. But my Cav should still do a decent amount of damage to them as they have so many archers. Uh, infantry... Oh, here's somebody. Okay, someone's actually up close enough. Start charging at them. Uh, you guys as well. And then you two. And then I think I might actually have you guys... Save your ammo for now, and let's actually kind of move you over this way as a way to try and have it so you'll kind of be able to just shoot them as they're running away. Because I expect them to try and group up with their allies. So, Cav, you try and charge at this guy, try and get into melee with him. Everybody else is trying to catch up with the enemy. Oh, you might have, finally. There we go. Get them to stop moving. Come on, fight me! 
Uh, they are... Okay, they are kind of trying to fight. Alright, you guys are in position. Keep pushing forward, guys. You guys are the ones that caught them just barely. You guys are getting in position still. Perfect. Uh, I do need to try and send you guys a little bit more this way to go after these archers. Let's see, how are you guys doing? Yeah, no, they are dying pretty quickly here with my cabin here. I want to just be careful. I don't want to have them in extended melee combat for too long. These are technically light cav. And so I'll try and take you guys out again. Just try and have it so you guys stop them. Because your main goal is just to try and stop them in the tracks. If you can do that, my infantry can catch up to them and properly finish them off. Because I, I don't have many instances where I can actually try and get more cavalry. So I always have to be very careful in how I'm using them. You guys currently don't really have any good shots. So let's just keep moving my skirmishers up this way. Keep moving up. They do seem to be bringing a unit over here. What is this? This is one of their infantrymen. Okay, that's fine. I can open up on them. My allies do seem to have now started a combat session here. Let's see. So you guys have lost about 40 dudes so far. But you've at least started to open up on these guys right around here. God, they have a lot of archers. I'm worried about that. Because archers are one of our natural enemy as the Daedra. Because our infantry is amazing. It is. But... We can be whittled down through skirmisher fire, which can be a problem. Let's see, is this guy... Oh, they're still back there. Okay, let's get a decent charge here, and then I'll turn back around and go after those guys. Just want to make sure you guys are still caught. Because number-wise... We've killed 10%, lost 2%. I was going to say we're not actually going to get that many guys to replenish our forces because Moleg Ball is uh, fighting the smaller army initially, which kind of sucks. But you guys are almost dead here. You need to keep moving up around this way. They are sending some guys over towards us, so maybe we'll still get a decent amount of kills. Because you keep finishing that unit off. Oh, do I want you guys? Because my skirmishers... Oh, my skirmishers try and run up here. Try and start opening up on this guy so that we can just get some free kills as he's making his way over to us. Since my cav, my, my, my cav, my infantry is all kind of stuck on their archers. Come on, guys, get in position, please. You're almost there. Ah, uh, they're turning around. Why? <laughs> Fight me, you cowards. Also, Trebuchet, move up a little bit, please. And then is this unit done? Yes, they are. You are done with that, so let's bring you back around. Try and help out with the skeleton archers more. Are you guys in melee yet? You are not in melee with any of these guys yet. That is a problem. Get in melee, come on. They're just a bunch of archers. They're a bunch of skeletons and bows. What do you think you're doing? Just sitting there and doing nothing. Because at least my infantry is... Okay, they are now open. Oh, they have a catapult. Okay, let's go get that. Uh, that's my own ally there. That's some of the blood knights. Cav, you're going to run up this way. Infantry, you're going to start trying to advance forward. Skirmishers, let's try to move you up a little bit more. We need to get rid of that catapult quickly. Uh, well, like Ball, also keep moving up, man. Let's see, that's a crossbowman. That's an infantry unit. Infantry unit. Archer. Armored zombies. Please don't hit anybody important. Oh, God. I always worry whenever I'm fighting against anybody with catapults that you guys might just get a random-ass shot and kill Mole Lake Ball. That'd be a brilliant way to lose the Daedric Prince of Scheming. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, can you uh, open fire on this unit, please? You can't break it, but hopefully you can just do enough damage. It's not going to matter as much. Oof, God. Pretty big hit there. Come on. 52, 50, 49. Infantry's almost here, too. Cav, where are you? You're right there. Okay, the catapult is open. Let's go charge it now. And then, has this trebuchet gotten in position yet? Uh, almost. You're almost in position. The battle is very much in our favor. Infantry's almost there. If we remain true and steadfast, still victory will be ours. So you two all have run away and adjust where you're firing from. Because there's only 18 of those guys left. Let's have you guys 
keep running up towards this crosswoman, please. Uh, let's see, these guys here... Finish off this dude, which is just 12 of them. And then you guys focus on this two-handed sword. There, focus them. Oh, you're one of my crossbows. Uh, back up, please. Actually, I should probably just move all my skirmishers back a little bit. Like, right there. How's that catapult doing? Catapult almost dead? Let's see, 6 to 24. Almost. There are 16 of you left. Ah, uh, guys, why are you just throwing my... Ah! Uh, yes, just throw my cavalry just point-blank into a bunch of generic armored zombies. That is the most effective use of these units. Yes, I see your... Strategic genius, my AI allies! If only I would have done the same! Instead of using it to flank around and charge at their artillery pieces and their vulnerable skirmishers, no, just throwing them headlong is the best, by far, the best option. See, my allies, see what happens when you can just finish off their artillery pieces? It's so useful! Now they have no artillery pieces just freely open up on us. And now I can just freely move my uh, skirmishers forward. I'm going to try and have them go... Uh, I'm going to really try and have you guys kind of go up here, shoot the guys that are on the hill. And then all my infantry, you're done over here, so we need to... Well, who's... Oh, you actually did catch those guys. Okay. Everybody else besides you is going to go over this way to this one unguarded hill that they, my allies are just ignoring them on for the most part. We have taken out almost, almost two-thirds of their forces. And so we're almost there. We just need to finish off a couple more. It's just I hate having to fight the undead where they don't break. Ah, oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, ooh, the Necromancer General here is, is right here, though. I currently feel like he's winning. Uh, I don't know if I should actually have you focus on them, or... Ah, actually, let's go have you help out over against those archers. It's gonna take a while until my infantry is actually over here, though, which is gonna suck. Yeah, I'm gonna have my skirmishers try and focus down their Necromancer General, because that's not this guy. That'd be the unit I killed. So you guys need to still try and take him out. It's not gonna matter for the morale, but at least it'll help us get rid of a powerful mage. So let's see, you guys start rushing up after these crossbowmen. You guys try and go a bit further to these guys up here. God, I hate that this entire army is just fucking crossbowmen and archers! Uh, undead, like, wood elf-esque armies that always just have a bunch of skirmishers. Oh my god, do they suck to fight! They have unlimited morale, so they can just endlessly run around and shoot you! Usually, at least, you can safely rely on like a wood elf or like some sort of skirmishing army to eventually kind of tire themselves out when they're undead hell no hell no that's just no fun not for them at least let's see i can get my calf back over here now that you guys are done you guys are still trying to chase them over here honestly i'm just gonna probably just run this to run through the rest of this battle, because there's not much they can do besides maybe accidentally shoot Molag Ball, but for the most part now, it's just us trying to run them down. If anything, we've still killed 75%. I don't know if we can get, like, we have to kill the entire army to win, and I don't know if we'll have enough time. We might technically lose, still kill a lot of their forces, then just siege the city again, but we technically might run out of time, honestly, with how things are going right now. It's taking a while to try and catch up to them. Oh my fuck! How did you die?! No! You lost! To a skeleton crossbowman! You lost three dudes! Three fucking dudes! And just one of them happened to be Moleg Ball! Like, he didn't even get shot at by, like, an artillery piece or something. No. No, 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 not even that. No. Moleg fucking ball lost in a melee brawl against a skeleton, a skelly boy, with a crossbow in melee. He, did, he didn't even get, like, shot point blank with a crossbow. No. No, 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 no. The, the skeleton was using a dagger or a sword or whatever the hell they had. And killed fucking Molek Ball. God fucking damn it! 
Oh! Ah! Alright, Moly Ball's dead. <laughs> this is why I wanted him to be more on the reserve side. But no, everybody wanted him to murder. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, uh, so... Moly Ball's minigame is done. <laughs> He's gonna be like, hey, okay, okay. Fuck the moral realm. Fuck it, I am out of here. You all fucking suck. I hate you all. Just have fun with all the vampires I created. They will run rampant right now. Doing their own shit. They're not going to be able to really replenish much, but they're still a extremely powerful force that's on the open field now. But he's like, no, okay. First, I had Verkinval, or whatever the fuck his name was. His uh, first, first duty sent in. He tried to do stuff. He failed. Then, then he's like, okay, hey, 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 I, I tried to give you a second chance also at some other point. That failed again. Then, he's like, okay, I'll go in myself. Get fucking stamped by a skinny ass skelly boy. The luck that Moleg Ball has is non existent. <laughs> the fuck did you lose to a crossbow and melee? It's not even like he, he was shot to death. No. That's what gets me, and that's what pisses me off a little bit. It's like, no, he wasn't shot to death. Like, I was fully expecting him to get hit by a stray catapult piece, or a ballista, or a trebuchet, or one of my mages. Some sort of random friendly fire. Nope, he, he loses to one of the weakest units in melee when he has one of the strongest bodyguards in the game. Just what the hell, Molek Paul, man? Just what the hell? So we also they technically lost, too. And him victory. Oh, oh, my God. I will never take Molek Ball fucking seriously ever again. Ever again. <laughs> he is the Daedric Prince lowest on the totem pole for me now because he fucking sucks. <laughs> so much. Ah, uh, he just took a fat bony dick up his ass there with how badly he was fucked. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so not only did he technically die, he's also lost his battle. We can still just assault it again. We still killed several of their forces. But, we go no further this day. he's dead! Ah, uh, who's our new faction leader? Daedric God Zeven. Are you just gonna take over his place? <laughs> Are you just gonna take over? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay, we just have to move on without Mole Ball. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm thinking his forces here. Uh, I still have plenty yes, of them that I can probably yes. still take the, the rest of the stuff over here. We should be able to. Um. We are making more money now because of his death. That's something. Honestly, I don't know if you guys will be able to push much further past this way area now because he's dead. Like you have no more dudes. Oh, you want to fight? Do you still want to fight? Do you want to fight? If I bring the other guys over too? I kept in earnest. Oh my god. Okay. Well, at least this means we can get back on track, kind of, with um, Meru's Dagon specifically taking the spotlight again. Because before, he was being overshadowed. I, I think Molek Ball just got caught up in his, hub in his hubris, where it's like, okay, okay, I'm on top of the world. I got these vampire armies. Uh, look at me now, Meru's Dagon. You can't compete with me. There's no chance. And as he's just gloating and standing there, he's like trying to fight these skeletons, and then as he's just thinking about his glory, he gets stabbed. He's like, what? No! No! I am the true Daedric Prince that is going to claim all of Tamriel, and he gets stabbed by a fucking crossbowman. I'm gonna be so salty about that for the rest of this campaign that he died to a fucking crossbowman in melee. I would feel better if he just gets shot to fucking death. I would have gotten. I would have felt way better, honestly. I would have, but nope. Nope. That's not the case. Okay. Well, I still think that we've got enough forces 
we don't need as many game anymore, and we can just do everything that we need on our own. Mole, uh, Meru's Dagon is still kicking. That's good. That's good. At least somebody is. And then now Shiagorath is still about, so he's going to be probably still trying to do his own little thing over there. But Mayor's Dagon, ah, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's done. He's just going to nope. He's going to go back off to Cold Harbor and say, fuck you all. I hate this place. Let it just burn. He's just going to ignore all of his troops. Let's see what, how much havoc they can cause without him, I guess. Because, oh my god, I just love that... Like, all my other dudes have actually been doing decently fine. It's just Meru's Dagon. I don't remember what doing. Moleg Ball. Everybody related to Moleg Ball has had horrible fucking luck. I, I, I still find it hilarious that this entire campaign is cursed in some regard. For, like, there are different aspects that are sometimes more cursed than others. And right now, for sure, Moleg Ball having the... He's the worst luck. It's like he broke, like, a thousand years worth of, like, mirrors or something like that. Just with how bad it is. Because first there was the first vampire. It's like, oh, it's going well, it's going well. Got his ass kicked. There's a reason why we have a fucking castle named Verkenvale's Volley. I honestly, if, when I take that cat, that, um... That city that he died outside of, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna rename that to... Um, more like Ball's Hubris. Or something along those lines. I want to name it off of, uh, like, playing off that. Just because of the fact that he fucking died to a crossbow. I, I don't know, does anybody have any ideas on what we should name it? Because I'm curious. Because right now, it's the same idea. Like, they just... <laughs> I expected great things from you, man! Such great things! But now you're fucking dead! Like the coward, oh. strike and well, let's just hope uh, we don't also lose Mayor's Dagon soon, too. Because <laughs> if we lose him, then the campaign's actually over. He'll, everybody will be straight up dead if he dies. I hope that doesn't happen, at least. Like, I'm gonna try and have him be a bit more cautious. I was trying to use uh, Moleg Ball a little bit more aggressively, just because it kind of made more sense for him. Although, he was also like the Daedric Prince of Scheming. So I can almost see some examples or some arguments as to why he might not have been that aggressive. Maybe. I can kind of see it. But I'm at least going to take out my goddamn vengeance on these Bretons right now. So like, you guys... Are you actually advancing on me right now? It's hard to see with all these damn trees. I will get set up, let's say, about here where this road is. So you guys all move up here, get set up, and wait for the reinforcements. As I need to hit something, <laughs> I'll hit these digital men with my digital swords and digital arrows. I, I do find it funny that Mole Ball dying, I know he's not truly dead, but him dying is probably going to mark the start of us starting to make money soon. Because we're close, we are. Honestly, we are very close to starting to make cash with his death, because... Now, I can't just get any more just generic vampire armies. I can't. Uh, my mini game is now over. We have no way to properly turn people. Unless somebody else becomes a vampire and turns one of my guys. Which I find very unlikely that that's going to happen. It's technically possible that we could interact with a general that has been turned into a vampire and then he turns one of my guys into a vampire. But, probably pretty unlikely. And so for the most part, we're just going to have to kind of deal with what we've got. We'll kind of use as many of the vampire units as we've got still. And just try and cause as much chaos and damage as we can around this area. I still think we can at least for sure secure Western Hammerfell. We can do that. I might be able to at least push into... There's the city behind these guys. No, there was a castle. Sorry, there's a castle. The castle behind the these guys, the I think general. I can take. And then power. I am sieging... Fuck you. Enemy force remains. My allies can help out there. Oh, actually, no, my guys are right there to help out. Um, and then there was the one other city or castle I was sieging just uh, north of these guys. Favor. I think we can at least push into that. I'll have to gather my forces together again at that point because we don't have a general to build them all back up. 
And so we really do have to just gather everyone together, keep them all in one spot. Try and just run them down a little bit more. I don't think we'll be able to get much, but no, you're not going to be able to. There we go. There we go. That makes me feel a little bit better that my like ball is dead. Somewhat. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, I'm going to hate the undead now, because they're the ones that killed, took him out. And I was originally thinking about Alan with the undead early on in this campaign. That's going to be thrown out the window now. But no, I, I, my units are strong enough, even without Molig Ball. Because I don't think... Like, could I... Te I, I technically, I'm curious if there's one thing I could do. But I don't think I should, or if I would be able to... Excellent. Like just remake his general, his general's bodyguard after like maybe a couple turns, maybe not like, just like a few, but like after like twenty turns he comes back. Or technically, we could almost say that maybe if he comes back, uh, it would kind of be like through the whole fact that his name is in the pool for recruitment because I know we had a uh, dude that was named uh, Mirrors Dagon at least over here. I know we had that much. Also, can I take some of these guys out of here? Because I want to try and move some of you guys over this way. I don't want these guys in here. I want somebody else in that city. Because you guys are expensive. So we want to make sure we can try and move you guys out. Actually, I can just move you out as you are. Yeah, sure. You guys go there. You're going to keep moving forward. And I'll be trying to have you go group up with... I'll have you go towards the guys at Mol Moleki. Uh, where do I want you to go? I'm probably going to have you siege that. I'm going to have you split up into two forces. Have you split up about... You guys go for that, the Fang Lair. And then you guys go for Blackheart Haven. So try and take more of these forts. Try and do that. Because I think we'll at least be able to get up here. Be able to take this stuff from you guys. And I know next turn... I'll be able to try and get you guys to take this throne. And, again, what do you guys think I should name this? I know I'm going to name it something about the whole fact that Molag Ball got his ass kicked here and he was sent back to Cold Hava. Although it's pretty damn empty right now. Um, so we'll try and do that at some point. I still think you guys have enough men to take the rest of this stuff. And then we'll just have to kind of like hold it, I guess, for the most part. Um, let's see, where... Ah, here you are. I need to give you a new unit. What is it going to be today? Alrighty, looks like we got another cav unit. So we actually got some Dominion cav in here. Not bad, not bad. So you guys can continue trying to make your way over to Fort Nassau. You're almost there. You'll need, like, so two turns until you can proper... Oh, actually, no, there are... It's already damaged. So we should actually be able to assault just immediately next turn. Uh, and I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to grab some of you guys and have you try and help out. Or if I'm still going to be trying to have you group up and then go for another uh, dungeon, because we got Wendell back here. You guys could probably go take that one for me. Um, I don't know, I'll have to kind of see. I could... Mm, nah, I think I'll leave this army alone. I'm going to have this army do its own stuff. And then up here... Ho -ho, yes. You guys go back in here, take Core Hall back for us. And then I've got all of these guys... Oh my god. And just have all of you just be the free upkeep units. Because how much do these guys cost? 250 for their upkeep per. That's actually not the worst. Okay. But honestly, I probably should take some of you out of here. You are some of my most useful generals or bodyguard or units to use. So I'm going to take you guys out. Send you all back over this way, though. So I'm going to try and put your army in with uh, Mayor's Dagon here. Also, they bet I, ha I have to sally out here. Don't know. Because <sighs> do I have anything else to do this turn? Because I kind of want to save that for the next video, maybe. <laughs> Just in case I lose Mayor's Dagon, too. I, I don't think we should lose. I don't think so. But I didn't think I was going to lose Molek Ball over there either. So you never know what's going to fucking happen. Because, honestly, we could accidentally lose him and then just this entire campaign is done. That could happen. <laughs> really hoping it doesn't. Uh, you guys really have anything to do around here? Still trying to gather you guys together. Because I want you guys to try and group up. You are really weak. Go around up this way. Keep trying to gather together, guys. 
You need like what one, two more turns? Yeah, one more turn at least, and then you guys can group up and make one more army fully together. I'll probably have you guys go over here, or actually wait. Ooh, there's the faction heir. Change of plans. You guys are gonna be going over there to try and kill him if you're able. That'd be perfect for us right now, at least. And then how many more turns for this army up here? You guys, if I can actually click the wow. thing. One more turn. One more turn, yes, and you will be able to drop off on Port Hunding. They continue tomorrow. Okay, we're so close. If we make it, it made a little bit more money, we'd be making some cash right now. Almost. Oh, God, I really should just get the battle over with with uh, you guys right here. Hey, it'd be a great way to see if this campaign is done or not. <laughs> eh, fuck it, let's do this. Uh, let's sally out of here because I don't want to just let you guys siege me here. You just have a bunch of infantry. We should be fine. As long as we don't lose the battle, this campaign is fine, right? Oh, God. Let me just not get him killed. That's all I have to do. Just not get me his down killed. So let me just... I'll, I'll have him be a little bit on the defensive side. Not rush into combat too easily. Because uh, if we lose this, he's just dead. He's just fucking dead. Which we really don't want. So let's start the battle. You guys are just gonna run away. So let's take all of my infantry. Pick you guys up. Start moving forward. Trippiches. And then scamps. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep Mayor's Dagon inside the castle. You can just chill, man. You heard the bad news about Mole like Ball being sent back to the uh, realms of the Daedra. It's kind of funny that, like, thinking about like what t it took to get Mayor's Dagon out of and out of the uh, mortal plane was a fucking avatar of Akatosh. We're with Mayor's with Mole like Ball, little skelly boy with a dagger. That's all it took. Oh my fucking god. I, I still am going to be thinking about what we should rename that city to. I, I'm curious what everyone else is going to think about. Because I kind of like the idea of maybe uh, Moleg's Folly. Um, Moleg's Fall. <laughs> Almost. Maybe it's based on that. Moleg's Fall. I, I kind of like that. Moleg's Fall. Because uh, it could be a great, great way to play off his name. And just... I want to make the so much fun out of him for that stupid bullshit. Yep, just a tiny skeleton. That That's what did you in. A fucking skeleton. You know, uh, you're so much of a Daedric Prince. Like, are there any other Daedric Princes that are known for being really pathetic? Or is it just now so far that I've seen that Mulek Ball is rather pathetic? Because that's what it kind of seems like so far. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue so at least you guys should win this here, because the they've, they've lost about 20% of their forces now. We'll win this. There's no way they could possibly win and make us lose, right? God damn it, there's... Like, there shouldn't be. Uh, my brain is almost thinking, like, but what if? What if they somehow just run around the map for the entire duration and just wait out the timer, and then you lose the entire campaign despite all your efforts to succeed? <laughs> Oh my god. Let's see. They've already lost half their the army. Now, thankfully, They've my brain is just an head. idiot sometimes and is gonna think up scenarios that are very unrealistic. Even though, my god, if that actually did happen, if we somehow lost you guys, that would be fucking ridiculous. Very much in our favor. Let's see. If you guys have here. Fast, here. Ah, at least your army's a decent army, Meru's Dagon, where it's not gonna lose! At least that's the case. But then again, it's also I can I can just be a coward with you. Just never send you into combat. That's all I have to do, right? Or should I actually use him as aggressively as I was with Mole Lake Ball? Ask the question. Because I don't know if we want to risk the possibility of the campaign just being completely ended by losing this guy in melee combat. I don't know. I Part of me wants to be very cautious. Part of me does. But I can also agree that it's not as interesting if I do that. Because while it sucks that Molek Ball is dead, I, I do find it hilarious that he died to a fucking crossbowman. Okay, good. Good, good, good. The campaign's not over. We're, we're not fucked. <laughs> he won. Push them back. You're free from Sankator. 
We don't have to have the campaign suddenly end on turn episode 40. It would be a nice time to end it, though, technically. Nice even number. That'd be great. But no, he's still alive. He can still be a dick and conquering more lands. Because at least, like... Each unit that we have, at least with the vampires... Because now that we're not... We, we're not doing the mini game with Molek Ball. Like, each vampire get, guy he was giving me was about, like, 300 for upkeep. And I was actually still making a little bit more because I kept conquering more with him. But now that we're not going to continuously get more guys... Honestly, I don't think it should take that long for us to get out of the red. I don't. Because, like, you guys here three turns until Veminol uh, falls. You guys next turn can actually take this. And then from there... Like, you guys are actually about to take two castles here, and then I'm about to put you guys into some forts. That'll be, like, these guys are 300 each. This is 1,200 guys right here. This army right here. Like, it's expensive as hell. Another here. Like, you guys are worth 200 per. The infantry's all 300 per. These guys, yeah. I, I think we'll be fine. Like, basically, once I run out of my vampire units here, basically, I'll be making money again. I'll just have to hope I hold everything so I actually continue getting out of the red. That's what we kind of have to hope. And I think we might be able to because at least we'll always have the stuff down here. They can't really do much around here. I can't wait until I can actually start building up my areas. Oh, wait. Cloud rest. I can actually put a higher taxes on you. Doesn't do a lot, but it kind of helps. At least a little bit. I don't think I can do that with any other city right now, though. Oh, no. I could uh, in the, increase the taxes there. Some of these areas I can actually increase the taxes and get away with it. Others, not so much. Okay, that's not the worst, though. Okay, I think that's... <sighs> I think that's it for this turn. Because I've already given Shiagorath his unit. You guys can't do anything around here. Yeah, no, that should be it. Okay, so let's do another end turn. And kind of see what goes up. Haha, -ha, good. Training montage continues. Besieging settlement. Yeah, you guys just keep sieging these. The siege is ah. No further this day. Double fuck. This one I might actually be able to win, though. Bunch of town guard, ram. Yeah, I might be able to win this. Malto. Malto. Might be able to. Gotta love that I just gave the Argonians a... Oh, fuck, I forgot to have those guys re-siege down, so... That one uh, dungeon. Oops. Yeah, my front against the Argonians is not going well. Uh, oh, we have d multiple layers. Ha-ha! Fuck you! Fuck you and all you stand for. You're not getting in here. Because I can just sit in the second layer and you're going to be idiots. Yeah, this is one of the times that I'm really happy you guys just don't know how to operate a fucking ram. Or to push it to the second gate. Because... You guys didn't even walk close enough that my towers could freely shoot you. It was just kind of sad. You just broke one gate down and didn't know how to get to the second one. You guys just lost your GPS, I guess. Day is done. And with but it, hey, we get to keep Helgen for now at least. Because I need to still hold on to as many cities as I possibly can so that I can start getting out of the red. Because once we can get out of the red, start building ourselves up and actually start developing some of my regions, that will be amazing. Because what we'll probably do is focus a lot of money into Somerset. Kind of develop the economy around there. Make sure every city I currently have actually also has a shrine. So we're actually converting my areas. And then from there, we'll be able to actually reduce the uh, amount of dues we have in each city. We can have it so we have more uh, free upkeep units. We are and then we'll actually have like bases of operation. My god. To like push into other areas. Uh, are you guys going to be idiots this time at, uh, ooh, why run? Oh, you guys are actually attacking me every hot and Dak Fron. I guess you guys heard about me, uh, me losing more like ball. And you're like, hey, the time is now. Let us strike back. They have lost the, the, their Daedric Prince has left this mortal realm and has been banished by a singular crossbowman with a dagger. Our enemy has laid Which is time now. Yeah, look at everybody's now just attacking me. 
The enemy has lead Everybody's lead. getting their, their fucking uh, shit straight now that they realize that Molek like, Ball is dead. Hmm. This is just a noble. I will want to fight you, but I'm also tempted to try and run so we can get to these guys. Let's try and run for now. Let's see if they'll let me. Come on. If you guys let me get away, that'd be perfect, because then I can try and group back up next turn with that other force. And I'll probably still ignore that guy, because he's just a noble. Okay, they did leave him alone. Leave him alone, and then we'll go after their heir that I saw up north. That's more important for us than just some random noble. We still have to kill off all their nobles, but I'd rather try and focus on the guy up north than you. It's only when you have the heir or leader title I actually give a shit. Question is, is when are you guys attacking me again at uh, Ghostgate? Because I've got more archers there now, and I'm hoping, hoping, that they'll also be able to freely shoot through the walls and hold that. Oh my god. Okay, losing about 12,000 per turn now. Not the worst, it's, it's getting better. But I think for now is probably a pretty good place to end for net today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampan, and I'll see you guys next time.